XML signature defines an XML syntax for digital signatures and is defined in the W3C recommendation XML signature syntax and processing. Functionally, it has much in common with PKCS number 7 but is more extensible and geared towards signing XML documents. It is used by various web technologies such as SOAP, SAML, and others. XML signatures can be used to sign data a euro or resource a euro of any type, typically XML documents, but anything that is accessible via a URL can be signed. An XML signature used to sign a resource outside its containing XML document is called a detached signature. If it is used to sign some part of its containing document, it is called an enveloped signature. If it contains the signed data within itself it is called an enveloping signature. Structure An XML signature consists of a signature element in the HTTP, www3 or go 9 slash XML DSIG namespace. The basic structure is as follows. The signed info element contains or references the signed data and specifies what algorithms are used. The signature method and canonicalization method elements are used by signature value element and are included in signed info to protect them from tampering. One or more reference elements specify the resource being signed by URI reference. And any transforms to be applied to the resource prior to signing. A transformation can be an XPATH expression that selects a defined subset of the document tree. Digest method specifies the hash algorithm before applying the hash. Digest value contains the result of applying the hash algorithm to the transformed resource, S. The signature value element contains the base64 encoded signature result, the signature generated with the parameters specified in the signature method element, of the signed info element after applying the algorithm specified by the canonicalization method. Key info element optionally allows the signer to provide recipients with a key that validates the signature, usually in the form of one or more X509 digital certificates. The relying party must identify the key from context if key info is not present. The object element contains the signed data if this is an enveloping signature. Validation and security considerations When validating an XML signature, a procedure called core validation is followed. Reference validation, each reference is digest as verified by retrieving the corresponding resource and applying any transforms and then the specified digest method to it. The result is compared to the recorded digest value. If they do not match, validation fails. Signature validation, the signed info element is serialized using the canonicalization method specified in canonicalization method, the key data is retrieved using key info or by other means, and the signature is verified using the method specified in signature method. This procedure establishes whether the resources were really signed by the alleged party. However, because of the extensibility of the canonicalization and transform methods, the verifying party must also make sure that what was actually signed or digested is really what was present in the original data, in other words, that the algorithms used there can be trusted not to change the meaning of the signed data because the signed document structure can be tampered with leading to signature wrapping attacks, the validation process should also cover XML document structure. Signed element and signature element should be selected using absolute XPATH expression, not get element by name methods. XML canonicalization, the creation of XML signatures is substantially more complex than the creation of an ordinary digital signature because a given XML document may have more than one legal serialized representation. For example, white space inside an XML element is not syntactically significant, so that is syntactically identical to. Since the digital signature is created by using an asymmetric key algorithm to encrypt the results of running the serialized XML document through a cryptographic hash function, a single byte difference would cause the digital signature to vary. Moreover, if an XML document is transferred from computer to computer, the line terminator may be changed from CR to LF to CRLF, etc. A program that digests and validates an XML document may later render the XML document in a different way, for example adding excess space between attribute definitions with an element definition, or using relative URLs, 
or by reordering namespace definitions. Canonical XML is especially important when an XML signature refers to a remote document, which may be rendered in time-varying ways by an errant remote server. To avoid these problems and guarantee that logically identical XML documents give identical digital signatures, an XML canonicalization transform is employed when signing XML documents. These algorithms guarantee that logically identical documents produce exactly identical serialized representations. Another complication arises because of the way that the default canonicalization algorithm handles namespace declarations. Frequently assigned XML document needs to be embedded in another document. In this case the original canonicalization algorithm will not yield the same result as if the document is treated alone. For this reason, the so-called exclusive canonicalization, which serializes XML namespace declarations independently of the surrounding XML, was created. Benefits XML signature is more flexible than other forms of digital signatures such as pretty good privacy and cryptographic message syntax, because it does not operate on binary data, but on the XML infoset, allowing to work on subsets of the data, having various ways to bind the signature and signed information, and perform transformations. Another core concept is canonicalization, that is to sign only the essence, eliminating meaningless differences like white space and line endings. Issues, there are criticisms directed at the architecture of XML security in general, and at the suitability of XML canonicalization in particular as a front-end to signing and encrypting XML data due to its complexity, inherent processing requirement, and poor performance characteristics. The argument is that performing XML canonicalization causes excessive latency that is simply too much to overcome for transactional performance-sensitive SOA applications. These issues are being addressed in the XML Security Working Group. Without proper policy and implementation the use of XML SIG and SOAP and WS security can lead to vulnerabilities, such as XML signature wrapping. See also, Canonical XML, XML Encryption, XOD ES, Extensions to XML SIG for use with Advanced Electronic Signature, Cryptographic Message Syntax. External links, Canonical XML, Additional XML Security Uniform Resource Identifiers, Exclusive XML Canonicalization, XML Signatures Java Binding for XML Beans and JAXB. Step-by-step -step example of how a signature is created. References, HTTP, www.3urgxmlsig filter 2 slash XML Signature XPATH filter 2.0, AB Paul Crockett. Secure SAML validation to prevent XML signature wrapping attacks. HTTP, www.cs orkundak nzpubs XML why XML security is broken, HTTP, grids ux indiana edu publications sp pdf performance of web services security, HTTP, WWW Extreme Indiana Edu Sec Perf PDF Performance Comparison of Security Mechanisms for Grid Services, HTTP, WWWJ World COMJW01 2007 slash JW01 VTD HTML Accelerate WSS Applications with VTD XML, HTTP, www.3urgxmlsec report html w3c workshop on next steps for xml signature and xml encryption 2007 http www.3urgxmlsec requs 2 slash xml security 2.0 requirements and design considerations http Domino Research IBM Compsibodig NSF 73053F26 BFE5 D1 D3852507067004 CFD ATRC23691 PDF, Yuraj Somarovsky, Andreas Mayer, Jorges CHWENK, Marco Kampman, Michael Jensen. On breaking SAML, be whoever you want to be.